So, today I thought I'd show you some of the new HUD changes that are available with the full patch that's come out for Battlefield 4. Uh, a couple of other of your favourite Battlefield YouTube channels might have already covered this, but a lot of you guys asked me yesterday to sort of show the changes that I'm making to my game and how it looks now. So what I've done is reset all of my settings so that I can go through it with you right now. Uh, and then give you guys a reference point to sort of move from or you can take my settings if you want them um, And just that way you can make the game look so much So much better than it was before so first of all you need to go into the options menu and head into gameplay Scroll right down to the bottom and there's this bit here called advanced options Just click on that and this is where all of the changes that we have at the moment are all in there to make sure that you can make the game Look how you want it to so really the start of it is down here with the minimap. So at the moment, you saw on the screen down the bottom that my minimap is at 100%, and that's what it is right here. You can now scale that all the way up to 200%, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if we jump out into the game, the minimap is now huge in the bottom left-hand corner, which I think looks really good. I've scaled my HUD quite a lot anyway. Um, already, it's at some of the smallest settings that you can have when you're looking at the overall HUD size. So I think 200% is maybe a little bit too big, so I'm going to scale it down to 175%, which I probably think is maybe like an optimal amount. It still takes up enough of the screen for me to be able to see what's going on, but at the same time, it's big enough for me to see what's going on. So the background visibility, that affects the minimap on it. So you could see that you could actually see behind what was on the minimap. Now that works really well for sort of dark settings, but lighter settings it doesn't work so well. So I want to leave that at 100% so I can always see the minimap no matter what background it happens to be on. Now the icon visibility size, that is what's on the minimap. So I'm going to jump out again for you. So you can see on there that my icon is there 100% visible all the time. Well, that's what I want it to be anyway, so that I can always see the icons and they don't sort of disappear once I'm looking at things. So we'll change that. I can't remember what it was actually set to, but we shall change that anyway. So let's just go back down. So there you go, set to 80%. So I want that 100% all the time. And the icon size stays at 100% on the minimap. You can make it smaller and you can make it bigger, but I think that there's so much clutter on that minimap anyway that if I just leave it as the default size now that the minimap is bigger, overall it will probably give me a better view as to what's going on. Uh, the default scale for the minimap is the zoom on it. I always have it set to 50, so I can always see what's going on around me. I can change it in-game by pushing the N button on the keyboard, so if I'm playing Sniper and I want to sort of zoom it out a bit, then I can do that, but I'll always have it defaulted to 50 because I'm mainly an infantry player and in close quarters combat you always want to see what's going on around you, so 50 is probably the best. Now you can scale the icons on the minimap depending on how far you are away or how much it's zoomed out, but I've left that on by default so that it moves and changes depending on what I'm doing. And you can have the minimap rotate as it always does with Battlefield 4. You can now make it static, showing north all the time. That's kind of cool, but it's not what I'm used to. So I'm just going to leave it as the same. Next, we're going to move on to sort of common icons on the screen. So that's like capture points that haven't been taken by either team, uh, ammo packs that you can pick up, all those different kinds of things. So I've got it set at 100% scale because I still want to be able to see it on the screen and it's always going to be there. It's kind of bugged at the moment where if you change that 100% value up here, this one, if you change that, it can change the size of actual things in the game. So like ammo packs and health packs suddenly become smaller by the same percentage. If I was to set that to 71%, then that percentage would re be reflected in the size of the ammo packs, which is kind of a bug. So I'm just going to leave it at 100% for now, but ultimately it doesn't make too much difference. Scale with distance, depending on how far you are away, you can scale it. I'm just going to leave it at 100% because there's no point in me changing it. I still want to see what I'm able to actually do in the game. The icon visibility though is one of the most important things because this takes it half off the screen basically. It makes it 50% invisible, so it's only 50% visible than what it was before. Which means if I'm sort of looking down my sights or if I'm hit firing somebody, then that's not going to get in the way as much as if it was at 100%. Now the four options below it are anything in zoom and you can change that on the four different levels. So you've got object visibility, interaction visibility, pick up visibility and then you've got explosive ammo and medic pack visibility so when you're aiming down sights all of those icons that are above all those different things that you can see in the game go from 50 percent visibility because now that was what it was when i wasn't aiming down the site to 30 percent as i am aiming down sight so it makes it even less visible on the screen and gets all the hud clutter out of the way 
Moving further down, we have enemy HUD world icons. This is something that I always want to see. So pretty much all of this here is going to stay visible. If I can't see the enemy icons on the screen, then I don't really know what I'm supposed to be shooting at. If I spot somebody, I want to be able to see the orange Dorito nice, bright and clear right in the middle of my screen. So all of this stuff, I'm going to leave at 100% basically. So inside 12 meters, the health bar visibility and in zoom. In fact, I might change some of it in zoom just so that when I'm zooming in or something, it doesn't get in the way when I'm shooting. So, so let's do that. We've got icon visibility in zoom. We'll drop down to 50%. Health bar visibility, so if you're inside 12 meters looking at an enemy, you can see their health bar and see how much sort of health they've got left, so you know how many bullets to shoot at them. Let's drop that to 50%, so that's not taking up so much space on the screen. And the info visibility zoom, I'll take that down to 50 as well. So when I'm just sort of hit firing somebody, it stays at 100%. Uh, when I'm zooming in down my sights, it drops to 50%. And finally, we have friendly HUD world icons. Now, this is sort of like all of your squad players and all of your team players. So all of the little dip bits of information that sit around all the ammo packs and all of the players that are running around in front of you, this is what happens when you change all of this. So I'm going to leave it at 100% and scale with distance again 100%. The icon visibility, I'm going to drop down to about 60% because then that way I know it's a friendly icon, so I don't really need to see what it is. We already control it, or he's already one of my friendlies, so why do I really need to, to see that he's 100% of that? Gets it out of the way at the end of the day. And when I've zoomed in, I want to drop that down to maybe 30%, so I can still see that he's a friendly. If I'm trying to differentiate between a friendly and an enemy player, that drops the visibility of the friendly player down to 30%, leaving the enemy one, as we saw up here, at 100%. That way, then I don't get mixed up with what's going on. The health bar and revive timer visibility. That's something that you can see when you're looking at the player. If you're in close proximity to them, you can see how much your friendly player's health has left. Now, I don't really need to see that most of the time anyway, because I drop so many ammo packs and medic packs all the time that it, I don't really need to see it. I just drop it. It's just like force of habit, basically. But when I'm zooming in, I want it to go away completely. I don't really want need to see it. Like, if I'm trying to see through somebody, that health bar can get really distracting if I'm trying to shoot at somebody behind. So I may as well completely take that out of the way. And the same way as me dropping down the info visibility to 50% as well. And then when I'm zooming in, that drops to my default 30. I may drop that a little bit further because I do want to know what class he is. So if I leave it at like, hmm, let's, let's put it at 50 as well so I can still see what class he is and... I guess that may, it, I can tell if he's like a, an ammo guy, a support guy, whatever you want to call it. At least then I know what role he's playing. So overall, these are the settings that I'm now using for the HUD within Battlefield 4. Let me just go back into the game so you can see that all again. You can see the minimap now sitting at 100% visibility. The icons on there are slightly reduced. The size of my icon is at 100%. When I zoom, when you can see that little B flag there in the middle, that's sitting at around 50% right now. If I zoom in, it virtually disappears on the screen, which is a great touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot all of those settings and stick two links in the description because I think it's going to take two screens to actually show it. And then that way you guys can go and just check them out and then change all your settings to mine. You can use it as a base to change it with yours. You can experiment, see what you want to do. But overall, these are the settings that I was using in CTE, basically. I have tweaked them slightly for the main game. Now, I think I've got a really nice setup. But overall, this is what I'm using. And if you want to go ahead and use mine, as I said, they're in the description. Or you can just use them as a base and, and tweak them around as much as you like. But thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this informative video. Leave a rating and a comment. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.